So, I was exploring around Firelink Shrine a bit, and... Yul's dead. I don't know how to feel about this. I really don't. I mean, I did say a few episodes ago I would kill him myself. But apparently that's already happened. I should point out my hollowing has actually gotten to 99 with no apparent ill effects. Not sure if it triggered this, though. And now there's this woman back here. Speak thy desire, honorable lord of hollows. That a lord art thou not, bearer of the dark sigil, and our lord of hollows. For the time thou remainst our lord, we of Londor shall serve thee. And I, of course, am also thine. That a lord bear for the time. So I apparently I'm the Lord of Hollows now. There's a lot of lords going on. Oh. Huh, okay. So there's a purging stone item, which apparently gets reduces undead curse buildup. Does that mean that it reduces it removes dark sigils? I don't know. Okay. Okay, Poison Throne, that's nice. Braille Divine Tome actually did buy this off-camera, but just so you know, there is a Londor Tome. I don't know if this is, like, dark magic or something. And dark... Okay, so this is all dark raid stuff. Ooh, retain human appearance while hollow. That is kind of useless to me because I really need those ring slots. Huh. Wow, okay. So I guess all that Pilgrim stuff is specifically Londor, rather than a general worldwide thing. What we saw in the intro, all the Pilgrim stuff, that's apparently a bunch of hollows that are trying to find something. Presumably a cure for hollowing or whatever. Okay, so that's neat. There's actually a way of looking human while being hollow. Or I could spend 500 fewer souls in order- I don't know, I don't know if there's, there's any point in that, but okay. Till we meet again, may the dark... Right, anyway. Not sure what I want to do about that, but... Let's go give the tome to good old Irina. Because it's a tome. It's a Braille tome. She could probably read it. Hopefully she doesn't go, Holy crap, what's wrong with you? That's Londor magic. Don't even touch that. Get away from me. You monster. Oh, Chakin Ash. Welcome back. Do you wish to... Oh. What's this? Champion of Ash, this divine tome is forbidden. Okay, what did I say she'd say? These are dark tales of things that lurk deep within men. These stories would not please you. Of course, if you insist, I will read them for you. Only... Oh, oh. They frighten me so. The little creatures that nibble at me in the darkness. You know, in my heart, oh. but if I are oh, terrible. Okay, that's normal. Well, what does she have now? Oh. Oh, those are miracles now? Those aren't hexes anymore. Those are straight up miracles. Dark Blade reinforces weapon with Dark. The third daughter of Lillian, one of the founders of the Sable Church, is said to recount tales that portray the suffering and conflict of Hollows. Vow of Silence. Prevent spells in vicinity, including one's own. Members of the Sable Church are all trained swordsmen, each sworn only to their weapons as they bear the laden silence of Londor. And dead again. Bless corpses transforming into traps. Londor, the Hollow Realm, is a society of undead comprised of the corpses and shades of those who led unsavory lives. Is such a blessing really something one must ponder? Okay, well, if dead again is what I think it is, it blows up corpses. Which, actually, it was in Dark Souls 2, but in that game, most most enemies just vanished completely. They turn into ash when they died. In 3, they ragdoll, so this is actually potentially useful. However, you need a lot of... Oh, you need intelligence and faith. Okay, that's how it works. So this is effectively a hex. It's called a miracle, but you need int and faith to wield it, so... Yeah. 
I mean, she was not wrong. I don't really actually care for that so much. Have a pleasant, I pray. But yeah, I kind of figured those would be hexes. Anyway, I will cut to, I guess, when I beat the Black Knight. Because that's the next thing on the agenda. Killing that Black Knight and whatever's beyond it. Possibly also the crabs, not sure. Anyway, see you then. So it's two hits now. Okay, well, at least the health upgrades are worth something. And that's that. Not the best way of going about it, but it worked. And I got an ember. And only a few thousand souls. Eh, well. I still managed to kill. So what's beyond that Black Knight? Let's finally find out! I really want to know. I'll deal with the... I might deal with the crabs in another episode. I haven't decided yet. I want to know what's behind that Black Knight. Sell sword twin blades. Didn't I already get some of these? Or was that a different twin blade? Right, that was Brigand Twin Daggers. I can actually wield these if I wanted to. Huh. Okay, so basically it's just... I'm kind of wondering if Power Stance is even a thing anymore. Given that there are weapons that are specifically, basically, Power Stance weapons... I don't know. I heard some talk that they actually weren't able to do that anymore, that you aren't able to properly power stance as you used to. I don't know. I mean, I guess we could kind of try, because all you'd need is something that's... Because power stance before was, like, if you need to have twice the requirement, or one and a half times the requirement, so... Broadsword and longsword together would actually be a good test. Although I realize the weight's a little high, so let's get rid of the straight sword for now. So yeah, broadsword and longsword would be a good test. Huh. No, I guess Power Stance no longer exists. Well, that kind of sucks. I like that mechanic. See, so, yeah, it looks like it's replaced with dedicated twin blade weapons. Well, as I mentioned before, if there's like a twin crossbow thing, I guess that's okay. That'd be kind of cool, though. But, I mean, there's rather specific things I want with that. And honestly, it's kind of a silly request. It's a silly thing I want. I don't know why I want it. Uh, I'm weird. Farron Cole? Oh! I think I know what this is. I think this is the ember that, that Andre was talking about that he needed. Let's see if you a key item. Farron Cole. Coal used for weapon infusion. Long ago, used to forge the great swords of the undead legion of Farron. Give to the blacksmith in the shrine to allow the use of gems for heavy, sharp, and poison infusion. And I think I have all those stones, except maybe poison. No, I don't have poison, but I have everything else. Okay, well that's neat, I suppose. Oh, I see. Probably you're hitting into the water and now the water explodes. Okay, so that's kind of neat, but also really disheartening because what good does that do me? Like, woo, I can get heavy or sharp weapons. Not that I really care, but it's like, okay, that's kind of neat and all, but that doesn't get me anywhere new. So I'm, I must be missing something. There's something I'm missing. I know there's a path leading up from where I was, kind of. And I'm kind of wondering if maybe there's a way of getting... Oops. I did. I was wondering, did I wake that thing up? 
Ow. Wow, that was close. What? Ow. Ah, give me a weapon this wall. All right, hang on. Let's just not be too close to this thing. Quaff up a bit. <sighs> I think the crab may be out of the question right now. Oh man, I just beat a black knight. What the hell? <sighs> I didn't want to fight that thing. That thing is the thing. I didn't want to fight that thing at all. I want to just move on. If I deal with the crab, I'll deal with it from another direction, probably. I don't want to deal with it from that direction. But yeah, that's the thing. Is like that doesn't. Where am I supposed to go? Ay. Well, that was easy enough. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm really. No, oh, come on. Cut you up. Cut you up. Get my souls back. Get really confused because I don't know where the heck I'm supposed to go from here, unless I'm supposed to go down again. Because I think there was a way I could go through the path that I found before. I mean, arguably that's this path right here. Alright, so let's just assume this is a detour. Even though I think this is actually how I got up, like, the only way I could go when I went up. Oh, no, not totally. There's there's something else. All right. We have more to explore. We have items to grab. We have enemies that are presumably going to try to kill us. Oh, great. One of these guys. <sighs> All right. This thing where Farron Knights are fighting Grus. That's what they're called. They're called Grus. Don't get in the dark, they'll eat you. Oh, they're dark wraiths. What the heck? Oh, great. Oh, and no, I don't want to be in the corner. What the heck did they take from me? Used to be they take humanity, but that wasn't. Ow. Ow. I mean, there's no humanity to take anymore, so unless it just increases your hollowing. Or gets rid of your ember if you have one. That would make sense. Man, that was annoying. Alright, so dark rays are a thing again, despite the fact that humanity is not a thing. Huh. Not very heavy, but pretty defensible. Actually, no, the, def the defense isn't that much higher. Alright, so I don't know what to think of this. Better poison resist, though. Oh, let's actually read it up. Gauntlets of the Dark Wraiths. Relics of a small country that fell to the dark long ago. Look as if they may crumble to dust at any moment. The Dark Wraiths were the oldest of the Red Eye Invaders and rumored to have served a primordial, primordial spirit. And rumored to have served a primordial serpent. The serpent being Koth. And the armor presumably is the same thing. Oops, no. Presumably the armor says the same thing. Yeah, basically says the same thing. It's not much heavier. The defense is a little bit better, I think. I don't know. How does it look? Eh. No. The gauntlets are all right, although I don't want to use those ultimately, but they're all right. And another ember. Okay. Yeah, they probably take ember. I guess I'll might find out at some point. I don't know. And that... Okay, that's probably the boss fight, then. I'm just gonna hazard a guess. There's some stuff up here, though. And possibly alternate route of the boss fight. 
Dark Wraith continuing its murder spree. I will also con- What the- No, what the- Come on, game. Welcome back, Dark Souls fans. Sorry about that weird jump. I guess OBS crashed? Not sure what happened there. That was really weird. But yeah, OBS just crashed. Really bizarre. But got a new item there. Black bug pellet and yeah, same thing as this. This red bug pellet. At all times, the Abyss Watchers of the Undead Legion keep a supply of these concoctions, prepared by the Acolytes. Rumor has it their crew descendants still make these concoctions. So I guess there's some sort of beef between the Grus and the Dark Rays. Grus being these weird monkey things here, which, frankly, I think they just have a beef with anybody. They're really belligerent. Another Gru Curve Sword. Oh, crap. Ow! That was out of range. Talk about bad spacing. There we go. Ah, easily got rid of one. Ah. All right, all right. So, minor mistake on my part. Did not pay attention to the fact that there were guards here that I just happened to get past, and they got rid of the Dark Wraith for me. Thank you. Because, frankly, they're a lot easier to fight than the Dark Wraith. I mean, with very little effort, I managed to take on both of them rather than, you know, having death happen. Night ahead, try critical hits. I don't like the sound of that. How many souls do I need for this level up? Uh, kind of high. I'm going to assume this is a boss fight. Yeah, everything around here says boss fight. Okay, well, I guess I have to at some point. Is it just me, or does that enemy look like a human version of Darkstar or Koth? Or either Primordial Serpent. Oh boy. This is gonna suck. This Watchers? Oh, I've heard of these. Let's get a crossbow bolt loaded. Ow. All right, all right. Oh, there's multiple. Of course there would be. It's called Watchers, plural. Well, so much for a magical first try attempt. I mean, it's called Let's Die Horribly for a reason, because I'm not that good at this game, clearly. Apparently, people can do it first time. I'm not one of them. If you don't like that, well, too bad. <laughs> Great, well, that's annoying as hell. All right, so... What the? Get my souls, get my souls, what the hell? Game? Actually, they're probably forfeit anyway, so I don't know if there's much point. Oh, I said go for critical attack, so I mean, maybe I can backstab. Ow. That's probably parry, though, for if you have shield, because, of course, range parry is not allowed like this in Dark Souls. Ah. How the heck do you deal with multiple enemies in this game? Ow! Okay, it does appear to be an overtime thing. If I can quickly kill them, if I can quickly kill them, then I'm fine.
Great. Well, I'm gonna just skip runbacks and probably just show deaths until I get them done. So, be back for that. Okay, so it looks like I get an ally, and I just about did it, too! Alright, so, seems like if I can last long enough for my- Because the red-eye one seems to be on my side. So if I can last long enough for the red-eye one to get in, as long as I don't get hit too much, I should be okay. And it seems like I can get a good couple hits off for free, so we'll go with that. That seems to be a good strategy. Hopefully I manage to get it next time, but I might be starting to get frustrated. I don't know. I'm really bad at actually determining my own emotional state, to be honest, which is probably one of the reasons why I get frustrated too easily. Or rather, I don't realize I'm getting frustrated, and so I just let myself get frustrated. Oh well, anyway. Just... Okay. My souls are forfeit, by the way. I can't. I've I've gotten hurt too much. I'm in a bad position. Like, I'm too focused on not dying that I'm gonna die. And I can't do anything about it. I'm I'm screwed. Like I just I can't get out of You know what that is? Sometimes you get locked in a mental state and you're stuck that way? I was stuck that way. I hate that. I I don't I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I got stuck like that. I got thinking I I, I just got stuck in a defense state. Oh well, let's try that again. Okay, green blossoms are apparently worthless. Good to know. Or at least didn't help too much. And uh, damn, I'm locked. My my mind's locked. But the episode needs to be completed, so I have to keep going. Hi. <sighs> Alright, there's my ally. Getting run through, apparently. Yep, they're gone. Better last time. 
Not lock on. Like, I have a mouse, I don't need to lock on. Ah, I can't see the bloody dust. away can't believe that <sighs> stupid crossbow why can't I should have gone with a heavy bolt or standard bolt if I didn't have a standard bolt there I would have won that fight <sighs> oh well be back in a bit Oh, I see. Only one of them is the real boss. The rest of them are just random enemies. So I can actually kill... Ah, good. Assuming that, you know, I don't get stunned out. Look at stun locking. Okay, so assuming I can get stun locked, I can actually win, or I can get rid of those secondary enemies that come in. Useful knowledge. I guess. I guess if you're watching this, you can learn with me, although... <sighs> you know what it is in Western society? Like, you're basically taught from childhood that you're not supposed to fail at anything, and you're not supposed to really learn. You're supposed to just have it right the first time, otherwise you're a failure at life. That stupid attitude keeps creeping into myself. It's creeping into my self-talk and screwing me up. I'm so pissed off about it. It's like, games are so much the opposite, but it's really hard to get that in your head. Oops, not that one. All right, all right, let's just go. Actually, in case you need a weapon technique. Hard to focus. Apparently I don't poison very well. Yeah! I think. Yeah! Well, poison didn't work, but ally, random ally enemy did. I guess. Unless there's a second phase of the boss fight I'm not aware of, which it looks like there might be. There is, isn't there? Yeah, there. This this blood isn't for nothing. <sighs> this is a two-phase fight. Great. Hero's getting all happy. Nope. I 
I'm getting more and more convinced that Fume Knight was the basis for a lot of the boss designs in Dark Souls 3. Ah, <sighs> great. Whoa! Yeah, that sounds about right. Holy crap! I wonder if they're weak to frost. Ah, seriously? Good dodge. I mean, it's just, I know, I know, I have to release the button, but still. <sighs> it's gonna take forever. That's one thing I don't like about doing Let's That's one thing I've found about doing Let's Plays. I can't take a break. Like, if I'm trying to do something and it's been less than half an hour, however much time is needed to create a half hour episode, I can't stop. At least I don't think I can. I sort of can't. I don't have the. I haven't really looked into really good video editing software, so right now it's a bit of a crude solution that I pretty much can't record multiple videos and be able to stitch them together. Ah, great. Ah. Ah, I let go of the button. Ah, this is annoying. I don't want to fight this right now. I'm just stuck. There's nothing else for me to do. Other than bang my head against this wall, there's literally nothing else right now in the game for me to do. This is it. Wait, why? What? Why was it dealing more before? I don't know what's going on anymore. My weapons were dealing more damage before. Whatever, let's just end the episode here. I'm going to assume that it's been half an hour. I don't know. But I'm going to assume after editing it's been half an hour, because frankly, I just can't. I need a break. I, it's just frustrating me way too much to fight these things. I just feel stuck. Trapped. Anyway. Till next time. Hope you enjoyed my flailing attempts at the Biss Watchers. Have a good night.